What's happening to me? What's happening to me? All you need to know, we're being chased. I need you to trust me. I need you to trust me. New in theaters this weekend, The Adjustment Bureau, starring Matt Damon. But is it a see it, a rent it, or a skip it? Kevin Carr, movie critic for FatGuysAtTheMovies.com, is here with the answer. Happy Friday, Kevin. Happy Friday to you. All right, this looks to me like another psychological thriller mm -hmm. from Matt Damon, but it's also kind of a romance, I guess, with Matt mm -hmm. Damon and Emily Blunt. What's your overall opinion of this movie? Well, it, it's, um, it, it actually balances those two things, sort of speculative fiction and a romance. It's based on a Philip K. Dick story. So it has that sort of Twilight zone sort of feel to it. It's about a guy, he's a politician, and he finds people sort of manipulating his life, and he's falling in love with a woman, but they're trying to keep him apart. Um, and, and it, it kind of has this weird, surreal look to it and a surreal story, but you know what? I thought it worked. It really clicked, and it's something that you can take a date to because it has a nice little love story to it. Yeah. And uh, like, if you like Twilight Zone kind of movies. I was going to say, it sort of has a Men in Black slash Twilight Zone feel to it from what I've seen. Sure, sure, yeah. And it does have that Men in Black thing to it. it it's it's not your standard movie. I was surprised at how much I did enjoy it. I like the fedora he's got on there, too, huh? Well, you know, hey, he's got to look stylish. <laughs> now, how's their chemistry? <laughs> Emily Blunt, uh, I like her. She's been in several good movies. Uh, how does she work with Matt Damon? They do a great job together. I I think they actually they really do click and it's a shame that she hasn't gotten more bigger movies she's had some misfires in her career but if you remember a couple of years ago she was nominated for an oscar with the devil wears prada that's right she was great in that movie as yeah. the assistant there all right so what would your overall verdict be on the adjustment bureau i'm gonna say see it see it yeah. good to know because i've heard good things about it it's a good option for your weekend. All right, Kevin, next up, Rango, which is a computer animated Western. Yes. Tell me about it. Well, it stars Johnny Depp as a chameleon, literally a little chameleon, who ends up in this little Western town, and he becomes the unlikely sheriff and has to save the, save the, the, the people, and he you know, has to go after the corruption. <clears throat> it's directed by Gore Verbinski, who did the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Yeah. And it's, it's one of these movies that it works for kids, it works for adults, it's got these this grown-up jokes and humor that kids aren't going to get, but it's still very adorable and fun for kids. It is PG. Oh, PG. Yeah, so it does have some PG language in it and has some violence, but you know what? It's, it's really clever, and it goes back to old fun westerns. Uh -huh. Something like Silverado, where, where it wasn't there to be dark and brooding. All right, Rango, voiced by Johnny Depp, a chameleon in the wild, wild west. What would you say? Run it, see it, skip it. I'm going to say see this one, too. See it? Okay, we're busy. Next up, Beastly, based on a teen book. Mm. All right, now I'm not loving that already. Vanessa Hudgens <laughs> from High School Musicals in it, isn't she? Yeah. Okay, oh, she's cute. She's very, she's a beautiful uh, woman, but I'll tell you, she kind of peaked with the High School Musical uh, things. I mean, this isn't a great performance for her. Okay. The story is, it's it's you know, it's the Beauty and the Beast story. It's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. You got a really good-looking guy who gets cursed to become ugly. He goes and he has to sort of take care of her for a while, and they have to fall in love. Um, it, it hits all the right buttons and it, and it hits all the, you know, plot points you'd expect. The problem is it has this overlying, you know, beauty is on the inside and you got to be nice, mm -hmm. yet everybody's gorgeous in this movie. <laughs> There's Mary Kate Olsen even yeah. in it. Even the witch that curses him. Even the witch is beautiful. Alex Petty for there. And yeah. He was in I Am Number 4. It was a very critically acclaimed yeah, the, movie. Yeah, uh, that's out in the theaters right now as well. Um, the, the other thing with this one is the script just doesn't work. All right, so what do you say for this quickly for Beastly? Skip it. All right, the last one, Take Me Home Tonight. Looks a lot like a light comedy. What do you mm -hmm. think of this? movie. Yeah, this one's one of those all-night party movies, and it takes place in 1988. Topher Grace and Anna Faris trying to figure out what they want to do with their life. Yeah, they're twins, aren't they? Yeah, and, and it's one of those 80s flashbacks. If you've seen movies like uh, you know, Dazed and Confused and Can't Hardly Wait, it, it's super bad. That's what it is. Has a great 80s throwback feel to it, but, you know, it's kind of trite. We've seen a lot of this before. I know you well enough to know, and I haven't looked. That's a rent it. That's going to be a rent it. See, I can yeah. tell See? already. All right, Kevin Carr, movie critic for FatGuysAtTheMovies.com. Go see the Adjustment Bureau. Go mm -hmm. see Rango for sure. Absolutely. All Have right. fun this weekend. Thanks. Lisa. All right, and good weekend for a movie.